Hi, this is Susan Leventero. Okay, so we just did a collective kind of yoga review uh, weekend thing. I feel like it would be nice for the weekend. Okay, so you might want to go see that. I'll try to link it up to this video, which is going to be um, you and your person of interest. And it could be love of family or um, personal love or... Um, it could be anything relating to love. Okay, so um, so it's going to be kind of like a pop-up love reading. Okay, so let's move in that direction. Okay, I'm going to try to go through all the signs starting at... I'm going to start with Pisces today. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start with Pisces today and go down. Okay, so Pisces... Okay, love message. Oh, let's get a um let's get a spark of connection. Oh wait, this one. Take a walk and say hello to people you see. I feel like that's really important, right? Because okay. What I noticed is ever since we all had the phone thing now, right, everyone has their earbuds in their ears and they're kind of on a one track, right? And I feel like it's really important to turn those earbuds down, right, and really connect if you're a jogger or a biker or whatever it is you do in the outdoors. I feel like it's really important to uh, connect and uh, do eye contact and practice contact and practice connecting just even a smile right I feel like that's really important now I feel like some people use the earbuds as a security blanket so that they don't have to connect right and if that resonates with you you might consider trying uh, to uh, Connect through smiles and eye contact, okay, when you're out and about. I feel like that's really important. Okay. Make friends with someone who is older and younger than you. I feel like that's important so that there's not this generational gap, right? Okay, and I feel like that's really important here. And sometimes when you're older, people feel like they, they have all the wisdom and there can be this kind of looking down energy. But what's fascinating here is that they're showing me sometimes the one coming in uh, has the uh, greater wisdom. Okay, so there is that. So it's like be open to the interaction, right? Don't be the uh, kind of know-it-all person. Okay, I feel like that's important. And in that way, we can learn from each other. Okay, all right, in earth school. <laughs> okay. Share a happy secret with friend. Okay, so I feel like um, trust is very important and... When there isn't trust, uh, all kinds of funky things happen. Okay. Pick up litter on the streets around your home. Ooh, yesterday I saw two young people uh, picking up litter together, and they were having just a great time. And, um, and uh, so that would be a nice activity, right? It's a feel-good activity, so... Anything that's going to contribute, I feel like, would help to feel good, whatever that is. Okay. Organize. Organize a block party. Okay. So, in New Orleans, uh, there is a lot of uh, block parties, right? Okay. So, um, it's like get together, you know, and um, enjoy just the neighborhood. Okay. All right. So, that's a good one. Okay. Here we go. Pisces. Woo, 
okay. So you're going to get movement, Pisces. It's coming. Okay. So what, what you want to get rid of is kind of that opposition energy. Okay. So there's like a black horse and a white horse. Okay. So it's like harmonize those two. And I think that came up in a reading. Um, two as one. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So uh, I feel like it's coming together. Okay. Yeah, King of Cups and Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, so there, whatever this relationship is healing. Now, this is also could be you with your water sign and different charts healing your energy. Okay, to come together in this kind of star energy. Okay, all right. So this could be any air sign. So what this is telling me is if you are this air energy, right, emanating this kind of balanced uh, energy, and see like this one's like, it looks like releasing Mars. Okay, so it's like turned into like this flower and now it's pouring into this loving fragrance pouring into earth so all right so and there's a womb here okay so you're birthing new so there's improvement here there's um in this energy there can be a nice exchange of love that's the message i'm getting here so you might want to go see the collective uh too yeah see lovers okay Okay, so some of you are going to walk away. Okay, that's what I'm getting. From one person. Okay. Yeah. Some of you uh, were felt really hurt from this person. Okay. and But you're coming out of your shell now. That's what I feel like. Okay. Eight of Swords, okay. Okay, so some of you are looking out to the new. Some of you are coming back and healing this energy. It's like, okay, so now if there was like two people divorced or separated, right? It's like healing that relationship and then moving towards another relationship. Three of Wands, that's the message here, okay. All right, so it's like, don't jump into something else to escape your emotions and feelings just because you want to feel good. It's like, feel good first and then go into another relationship. That's the suggestion. All right, so here's the judgment. So yeah, there is going to be a return. And some of you, this is the Pluto energy kind of doing that kind of cleansing energy to connect in a higher vibing energy. That's what this is. Okay. Yeah, balancing out the energies. Okay. <laughs> now this one's okay. So it's interesting. Okay. So Pisces, okay, uh, you, you have beautiful energy. It's like a very forgiving energy. Okay, so what this is telling me, okay, so some of you are going to uh, make up here, okay? Some of you are going to choose to move on, right? You choose to move on in this healed energy or aligned energy, right? And... <laughs> Okay, so it's like you want to let go of the pain. So you heal first, and then you move forward doing the work. And then uh, there's like, there's an ebb and flow here. That's what I want to say. It's like you walk away, and then you want to go back with this judgment card. And then you get feel balanced. And then you go, you take the movement forward. And then this card is wanting to go back. So it's like ebb and flow. 
All right, so it's like back and forth. Okay. Back, back, back and forth. Okay, that kind of energy. Okay, so. All right, so you still. So <clears throat> there is this thread, right? That's what I want to say. Now here's the uh, air sign energy. Okay, so some of you uh, may want to go towards that. Some of you feel like this person uh, wants to go towards an air sign. Aquarius, maybe. Okay, so there's that. Oh, here's the Gemini card. Okay. Okay, so it's all about feeling physically good and connecting. Okay. And then here's the new beginning, right? Okay. I feel like some of you, whoever this air sign is, if this fire sign is coming up, fire energy is coming up, they might be going through some stuff too. Okay, so now this could be any sign harnessing air and fire energy. Okay, so that would be polar opposite energy. So it may not be so positive all the time. Okay. So that is probably why it's like, can you imagine like a wave, right? It's all one energy, but it's like syncing up together those energies, right? It's like two people uh, were maybe in like parallel realities and then through the dance of life and then harmonizing the two into one. That's what I'm getting. Two into one. All right. So there is this, it's been slow, but there is this potential here. Yeah, there's holding on here. Okay. Now this is that Scorpio energy. Okay, so it's calling for releasing any pain of the past. Yeah. So this is Nine of Swords reverse. There's improvement here. Okay. Yeah, and Ten of Cups. Okay, so I feel like this is what we're moving towards here, Pisces. Your Ten of Cups. Okay, for some of you, it's calling for you to release this past person fully. Okay, having healthy boundaries in order to move forward. Because if there's still a back and forth that's not positive, it's, if it's not in a healthy way that you're exchanging energy... Let's say it's like you you share custody or something. If that is not um, balanced, then your future thing could get kind of funky. So you want to work that out through communicating openly. Okay, so here's the Scorpio energy uh, again. Okay, so it's rebirth. So for some of you, I feel like another water sign would be a nice match. But it, and if you're with a water sign, the key is to... Have nice open dialogue, open, communicate your heart, right? Sometimes if you have two water signs, um, it's, it's uh, not opening up or really saying how you feel, right? Yeah, and here's the Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords, okay. So this is a new beginning with the... Um, air sign for some of you and this is the new beginning in clarity you're going to be clear more clear than ever clear than ever that's the message thank you all right aquarius let's get this deck okay so aquarius Earth horse. 
There's a victory here. Yeah. It might take a little tweaking, a little bit of resistance there. Okay. Okay, masculine energy. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so the resistance is here. Okay. Who's the rabbit? Oh, shit, what is that? All right, let me get some other cards here. I'm just reaching in. Ice twice. All right, I feel like this came out in readings before. Okay, what's this on the floor? All right. All right, so I feel like uh, collectively we've kind of been revisiting, right, self and uh, what we see in the world mirror. Okay, so it takes self-study and uh, taking a look at personality too, right? Okay, so we've been doing that and because we've attracted to ourselves certain kinds of energies okay so let's go back here so in the silence right it's like it's like the call of the mother the land okay so and I feel like uh, you've been moving in divine timing which is nice I like it okay so this is what's bringing you freedom Okay, but what's important about freedom is uh, it's not gained all through force. It's gained through this energy, looking at the self, reflecting, and releasing things of the past that may have been causing the resistance in the physical reality and attracting to you things unwanted. All right, so that's important to know that freedom, uh, number one, comes through freeing your own thoughts, your past, okay, freeing yourself from the past and surrendering to a degree to, or fully 
surrendering to the outcome. Do what you have to do in the physical reality, but trusting spirit and engaging in that divine connection. Okay, I feel like that's really important. Okay. Now. Okay, so some of you have been in this kind of doing energy, which is not in receptive mode. So it's like you've been working a lot, right? Um, some of you have the duty to do that. Okay, it's part of your work. It's important to do that. Okay, so uh, love maybe was put a little bit on the back burner here. All right, so, and that engagement maybe is causing also some extreme energy here. Okay. And the call is, if you've been in this and facing this, right, in your physical reality, see where you can temper your emotions and be, it's like learning how to be a ballet dancer, pivoting at the most key time, Going with your emotions. It's not about not feeling your emotions. It's like feel your emotions to the extreme if you need to. But then pivot. Get out of the fire, right? And go in another direction and let your dominant energy be this. Your dream work into the physical. Use this fire to move your dreams. Yeah. So this is kind of that uh, Neptune energy. So, bringing that into the physical reality. Now here, there is a message here. If you are doing some work, right, that's kind of like this, then think about in those times. Switch, switch the thought to someone who is, represents this to you and spend time there, right? And then, as you think about this person and something positive, it could bring you right back into the flow. Okay, that's nice. I like it. All right, so let's see. What's this? Okay, so sometimes... Aquarius or air signs can ice out, right? That's what I'm getting with this. And show a cold face. Okay, now. Now inside an igloo is really warm, right? Usually if there's a, uh, there's a warmth about igloos. Okay, so. And here I feel like whatever the energy is of the past, you're ready for it. Okay, but I feel like we're in the time now where this kind of uh, coldness is melting away. Okay. So here's a big energy, right? Okay. I feel like there's reflecting here going on. Okay. I'm getting like ice hockey. Okay. That's for someone. Okay. Now. I feel like this is what you've been dealing with. This kind of dog star energy, right? And that could be tricky. Okay. But, okay, in those times, remember that you're in charge. Oh, wait, those are in the front. Okay. You're in charge of your emotions. So feel it, what you need to feel, and then dance into another direction and this is like feeling like you need protection okay so the best protection is see here illuminating the mind with positivity and sunlight okay 
That is the wisdom. Okay, so I feel like you're birthing a new reality here. Okay, whatever it is. Deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. Okay. So connecting to the ancestors. That keeps coming up here for Aquarius. Okay, connecting to the ancestors. Okay. South, adventure. Okay. And purity, ice. Okay, so... It's like cleansing your own energy and then connecting to others, right? And I feel like that's going to be the connecting link. That's going to bring this earth horse from out of the cold into this, the light. See how this, this earth horse is going through this portal and coming out light and bright. Okay. It's like stepping into a new world. Okay. And so maybe there was a little bit of wanting to kind of protect, shield, and hibernate. Okay. But there's a new day coming here. All right, now let's see what's this. Forge, don't follow. Okay, so that's like the age of Aquarius kind of energy, right? Being the leader, not really knowing where it's going, but uh, forging through, right? Um, paving the new path, being the leader, right? And um, in this territory, sometimes you don't know. And, um, and anytime you have a question, it's like you connect within. Uh, see here... These little white dots are looking like spirit. Okay, so anytime um, you have a question, it's like get silent in the subtle energies, right? And then here's the new path. They'll help you move with you in your new path. Okay. So karmic relationships. Orion energy. Yeah, I feel like um, that's what some of you were dealing with is that kind of lower fifth okay and um some of you were dealing with polar opposite energy okay so that could have been why polar bear came okay <laughs> soul growth and conflict okay so while we're working out these energies it can look like any of those things right and it might have had you feeling crazy sometimes okay all right, so the key is endurance, right? Okay. So when we're faced with that bat energy, the bat energy will kind of uh, hang around and hang around, right, until the, the, um, the, the prey gets tired and then they want to move in. So the key is endurance and be the rock, right? Um, the crystal, the high crystal. And the thing is, if you connect and take time to do that and move in that energy, this is an endless supply of energy. So it's important to take time to do that in, in uh, silence and subtle energy. Remembering that getting quiet and tuning in can bring the victory for Earth Horse. The victory's here. It's already here. Okay. So whatever it is you're trying to achieve in love, okay, or work, it's going to happen here. Okay. So, yeah, see, this card's about listening to spirit, right? The sounds of the earth. Okay. Yeah, the new earth. It's happening. Keep holding to the vision. Whatever your vision is, keep holding on to that. Okay. So it's kind of a loose grip though, right? It's not a tight resistant grip. It's like loosening and trusting spirit and loosening that grip a little bit and allowing the flow to move with